Hi friends, it's James and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this is part 6 in creating a Discord bot in Python. I honestly can't believe that we're already on part 6 of this series. I literally remember when I created that first ever video ages ago. And now we're on to part 6. I've enjoyed the process of making these videos so much and I hope all of you have enjoyed them as well. So then, what are we going to be doing today? Well then, we're going to be able to get it so that we can queue songs for our Discord bot to play. So let's say, for example, you have one sound file currently playing called Piano and you want to get it to play trumpet straight after, you'll be able to type a command into your chat, into the messages on Discord and tell it to cue trumpet after it, after it's finished playing piano. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. Buckle up, fasten your seatbelts, because this, this is going to be a fun one. However, just before we jump into that, I've got a couple of things I want to say. First thing is, is I've got a Discord server. So if you've got any problems when making your Discord bot, or you just want to come and have a chat, feel free to consider joining. Secondly, I was wondering what you think. Should I set up a web camera so that I'm in the corner of the screen when I'm doing these coding tutorials? Would it make the video better? Would it improve the quality? Would it make it more personal? Is that something that you'd like to see? Please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you think. But anyway, let's just jump straight in. I know in the last episode of this series that I mentioned that the next episode, so this one, wouldn't be one relating to a music bot. However, the thing that we're covering today, queuing, I feel that it's vitally important for Discord bots. So that's why I'm doing a video on that today. Also, quite a few of you have requested this in the comments, so I thought it'd be very useful to do that now. Instead of doing it later on, in the series as it wouldn't really match up or follow through when someone's looking through at the playlist. I hope that makes sense in what I'm saying. But yeah, the next video that I'm going to be making, I'll be moving away from the music bot sort of thing and onto some other interesting things, which I'm sure you're going to find interesting as well. So yeah, this is the last video that I'm going to be making for now to do with the music part of the Discord bot. I may very well in the future create a few more videos to do with the music part if you suggest some things that you'd like to see. So yeah, anyway, let's just get started. So in the last video, we got it so we can stop our Discord bot from playing a sound. We can pause it and we can resume it. And so I just want to say one thing off camera. I've changed one line, which I'd recommend you do in your code. You don't have to. It is not required, but I think it just makes the code a bit easier to read. What I've done is, is I've taken out the arg plus dot and then whatever your file extension was so in my case dot wav because all of my audio files end in dot wav as you can see here on the left i have taken it out from the ffmpeg audio the brackets so previously it used to be in here just like that however I, what i've done is i've taken it out and placed it in its own variable called song and then inside of the ffmpeg audio function we are calling song I just feel that makes it the code a bit easier to read. As I said previously, you don't have to do this, but yeah, I just think it looks nicer. But anyway, so what are we doing today? We're going to set it up so we can cue songs on our bot. So if the piano file is playing, we can cue it to play the trumpet straight after. And the way I'm going to do this is by creating another command called Q. You could set it up so that when you played it via the play command, it would detect that a song is currently playing and schedule it to Q. However, just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to create a separate function called Q. So let's just do it first. So we can just copy this and then we can rename this. And we can rename it Q. Uh, how do you spell it? There we go. There we go. And now, so what we want to do is we can copy uh, the first line here, the voice. We can copy that and paste it in there. And now what we want to do is we can also copy these lines here because I'll explain in a second why we're doing this. 
So if we copy it just like this, like we've done in our play command, and now this is where it gets interesting. So what we want to do is we want to type guild underscore ID is equal to ctx dot message. Oops, sorry, I can't spell dot message. I cannot spell today for some reason. Message dot guild dot ID. And now let me just quickly explain what we've done and why we've done it. So we've got it to take in what we're passing into our queue um, function. So let's say in the um, Discord, in the Discord messages where we type our commands, let's say we typed Q and then the name of our file, let's just say um, it was called, um, sorry, I cannot spell for here. Uh, let's say it was called, let's say we're trying to queue the piano one. So let's say we typed Q and then piano after it. What we're doing is we're calling the Q function here. And then we are passing in the piano variable here via this arg um, parameter. And then we're basically registering it with the FFmpeg um, PCM audio function that we talked about a few episodes ago. And you'll notice that we're not actually telling it to play it like we have done here. And we've done that on purpose because we don't want to play the song. We want to cue it to play. And the last line that we wrote is guild underscore ID. And what this does is it essentially gets the ID of your Discord server. And you'll see why we'll need this in a second. Um, so I'll just do this for now. So now we actually need to scroll to the top of our document. And up here, we want to create a dictionary. And we're going to call it Qs, like that. It's equal to, and then the squiggly brackets. Apologies, I... For the life of me, I'm so tired, I cannot remember the name of what these brackets are called. But anyway, so this is essentially representing a dictionary. If you don't know what a dictionary is, think of it like a book. Uh, a book where we enter entries slash logs. And you'll see why this will be useful in a second. This is where we're going to be storing what songs are queued to play next. I hope that makes sense in what I've explained about all of this and what the dictionary is doing. So now we actually need to write the bit where it will queue it. So what we could type now is this. We could type if guild underscore id in queues colon and then queues. Don't worry, I'll explain what all of this means in a second. Um, square brackets guild underscore id dot append open and close brackets source and then else cues square brackets again guild underscore id is equal to source and then we want to come down here and we just want to type await ctx dot send open and close brackets, and then just say uh, something around the lines of added to Q. And now let me explain what this is doing. Essentially, what we're doing is we're saying if the ID of our server, so if you don't know, each Discord server has a random integer that represents it. So your Discord server could be like that, for example. You get the point in what I'm saying. We're saying if our server is in our queues dictionary, which we created up here. So it's saying if our server with its randomly generated integer or slash ID is in here, then we want to add the song that was passed in up here through this arg. We want to pass in the FFmpeg um, function of that into the dictionary. So we're passing in source as that represents the FFmpeg um, functions version of the audio file and the append essentially just tells it to add this to the dictionary. I hope that makes sense in what I was explaining. So the best way I can quickly explain what this is doing is, is just calling the ffmpeg function and it's passing in the song that the user entered when typing the command. And we want to be passing this into the dictionaries because it will return um, some useful stuff that will allow um, the bot to play that song when it's its turn in the queue. And that is exactly why we are passing in the source into the, the dictionary. 
I hope that makes sense in what I've explained. And now the else part of it. So essentially what this line is saying is if the server ID, so that randomly generated integer, is not in that dictionary that we created, then we want to add it and we want to set it equal to this source variable, the ffmpeg um, that function. I hope that makes sense in what I'm explaining. However, so then, if we were to run this code, this would not work. We actually need to create a, another function, but this is not a function in which the user can run. This is a function in which we can call from our code. So if we go back up here to where we created a dictionary, we can write def check underscore q, open and close brackets, ctx comma id, colon, and then if q's, don't worry, I'll explain all of this in a second what it means, square brackets, id is not equal to square brackets, and then a colon, and then voice is equal to ctx dot guild dot voice underscore client. And then source is equal to q's square brackets id dot pop curly brackets with a zero in it. And then player is equal to voice dot play open and close brackets source. So now let me explain exactly what all of this is doing. So what we're saying is if the server ID is in the dictionary and if it's not equal to nothing, as in it contains no entry, so no queued songs, then it will run the following code. It will first do what we've done in the past, so it will get the voice channel, it will then get the source, so this is the song. This is the ffmpeg function of that audio file that was queued. And we're doing this by calling queues, we're entering in the server ID, that randomly generated ID. And so essentially what this is doing is going to queues, it's looking in the dictionary, so this bit here, it's looking for the server ID, it finds it, and then it gets the first entry in that. So index zero. And index zero is basically just the first item. So it will get the first item and remove it from this dictionary. And then it will play it. Just like we've done in the past, it will play it. And with that, we've now nearly, nearly finished it. Nearly got it to work. There's just one last thing that we need to do. We need to come down to our play function here. And in here, in this source bit, we want to do this. We want to put a, um, a comma, and then we want to type after is equal to lambda, then space, then x is equal to none, and then a colon, and then check underscore q, open and close brackets, ctx, and then ctx dot message dot guild dot id. So now that is all the code that we need to be able to queue songs for our Discord bot. But let me now explain quickly what this is doing. We're essentially saying when we run our initial play command, after it's run, check our check queue function to see if there's any queued songs in the dictionary. If there is play it, else do nothing. So it will just end. So great, that is everything we need. Let's now test it out. Let's now see it in action. So let's head to Discord. So we're now in Discord and we can now run it. So let's do that. So let's first get our bot to join the server. And oops, <laughs> of course, we've got to be in a voice channel for it to join a voice channel. So I'll make sure I'm muted so there's no weird feedback for you. And now let's get our bot to join the voice channel. There we go. And yep, our bot is now playing its intro song. What we want to do is now test out the Q function. So to do the Q function like we um, programmed it to do, all we've got to type is um, the um, exclamation mark Q and then the name of the audio file. So in our case, or in my case at least, um, I've got three different audio files, one called drum, one called piano, one called trumpet. 
So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to Q V drum to play. And then I'm going to copy this. The reason I'm doing this is just because my songs that I've chosen are just really short. So I don't have enough time to um, type it in before it finishes playing. So what I'm going to do is play the piano song and then immediately paste in that Q command that we just typed. And hopefully it should work. So let's give it a go. So let's play piano. And now it's and then after I click enter, I'm going to paste the Q one. Okay, cool. So it works. It's added to the queue apparently. So after the piano's finished, it st should start playing a drum one. And it did. It worked. It successfully played the audio file. We are now able to cue our bot to play songs after a song, which I think is a really cool thing to be able to add to your bots. But that now brings us to the end of this video. I do hope you have enjoyed it. If you've got any ideas of what you'd like to see in this Discord series, please do let me know. But anyway, if you've enjoyed it, please do smash the thumbs up button on this video as it would really help it out in the YouTube algorithm. And please do consider subscribing to me. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by my birthday in June and I'd love for you to join me in this journey. But anyway, I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya!